hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be telling you how to convert your visitor visa to a canadian work permit so if you're interested in seeing that video please stick around Don't forget to hit like on this video if you find it useful. Also, subscribe please guys to the channel if you are new. Share this video with somebody who might benefit from it and turn your post notification bell on. Also guys, drop your comments. So we can all attest to the fact that we have heard before that you can just get a Canadian visitor visa, come to Canada, get a job and you will get a work permit as a result. Well, there is some truth to this it is not entirely true or it's not as simple as they make it seem so i'm here now to break down that information for you and hopefully you'll be able to learn how it is done so first things first there are two types of work permit in canada you have the employer specific and you have the open work permit i'll start by discussing the employer specific work permit so the employer specific work permit as the name suggests has the name of the employer specified on the work permit as well as the duration for which it lasts so you can get one for two years or for a year i think three years i'm not sure for the three years but i know you can get one for a year or two as the name suggests you can only work for the specified employer this means that if christine's company employs you you have to work for Christine's company only. You cannot work for different companies. So you cannot have multiple jobs unless it is with the same company. The employer specific work permit is usually accompanied by an LMIA. Most of you are familiar with the term LMIA. This would indicate to the government that the position is hard to fill by somebody within Canada. Therefore, the employer has to source somebody outside of the country to fill the position. So you have to get the, the LMIA, which has certain information that will be useful for you to take around. You can go about applying for LMIA jobs on the Canadian Job Bank. So you just go on the Canadian Job Bank and you can filter your search by putting in LMIA jobs and then you'll see a list, if available, of LMIA jobs that you can go ahead and apply to. If they see that you fit the position they will reach out to you just as a regular job application they will reach out to you you know go through the necessary interview process and if you are successful then you'll be given the job the employer it's the employer's duty to apply for the lmia for you you are not supposed to be paying any money to get an lmia it's the employer who will go through all of that the only thing you do is collect the document when you get this work permit this lmia and the work permit and everything is approved for you you will no longer be a visitor you will now be a worker so the worker status will override your visitor status and so that's how you will go about converting your visitor visa to an employer specific job in Canada I'm gonna tell you later on after I explain open work permit how to specifically go about getting this within Canada but once everything is obtained you will now have a worker status and that's what you will be working with or that's what you will be using in Canada so what does this mean you can now apply for healthcare you can now apply for your SIN and, and you can start benefiting more from what the country has to offer now on to the open work permit as it relates to the open work permit as the name suggests it's a non-restricted work permit which can be used to work for any employer or if you want to have multiple employers you can do that so you can work for this company that company that company as many companies as your body can manage of course unless it otherwise specifies so for example some work permit will tell you that you're not allowed to work in health or in education so if that's the case you know you stay away from those kind of jobs but you can work for any employer any number of employer in any job any position 
and you can obtain an open work permit by being the spouse of a student, the spouse of a worker, a work permit holder, the spouse of a permanent resident, or if you're a student in Canada and you're changing your status to post-grad work permit, you will be given an open work permit. So then, what are some documents needed for the process? Of course, you're gonna need your passport, that's a given. You're going to need proof of funds, proof of qualification, a police report, and you know, other documents that are relevant to your case. And of course, there is a duration on this permit, which usually lasts the duration of the principal applicant's permit. So for example, if you are the spouse of a student and your spouse, who is a student, is doing a two-year program in Canada, then your work permit will last your open work permit will last for two years as well and you both will have the expiry date for the same time so if your spouse's study permit expires on december 31st 2024 that's when your work permit will also expire so whatever duration your spouse or the principal applicant has that is what you will get also on your work permit some people think that this is an everlasting process put in place by the canadian government but this is not so actually there is an expiry date to it this they have already extended and the extension or the current extension is until february 2025 so we're not sure if after february 2025 there will be another extension but as things are after february 2025 you will no longer be able to convert from being a visitor to a worker in canada now bear in mind that you have two ways in which you can apply for these work permits if you decide that you are going to apply for them from your home country then you don't necessarily need a visitor visa you will already be granted your work visa from within your home country that you will use to travel to canada in order to obtain your work permit be it specific or open if you decide that you already have or you are going to apply for a visitor visa to travel to canada then when you get to canada you can convert this visitor visa within Canada to the work permit employer specific or open by a process called flag polling. I already discussed flag polling in a previous video. I will try and link it in the description of this video so that you can get more details surrounding the whole process and what's in, what it involves and the documents needed in more details. But as for now, the whole flag polling process is that you will take all your documents with you from your home country when you're coming to Canada on your visitor visa. That's the documents that I already listed out, your passport, your police report, all those documents you will walk and I suggest that you take them in original and photocopy with you and you will go to your nearest US border. When you get to the border, you will let them know that you are doing a flag polling. You don't necessarily, you do not necessarily need a US visa to do the flag polling process. So you will go there, tell them that you're doing, you're here for flag polling. They will direct you where you should go and you just follow the process inside of the US. So it's on the US part of the land or the soil and then you go around so it's kind of like a 360 or a 180 ish a little bit over 180 that you will make around the flag and then you'll come back inside of Canada when you're coming back inside of Canada there is a border officer that will handle your case so they'll ask you questions like where are you coming from what do you have anything to declare how many people inside of the vehicle and you just answer those questions and then they will ask you what's the purpose you tell them that you are flag polling for a work permit or a visitor in canada they will ask you if you have if you know the necessary documents that you should have and if you have them with you of course you're going to have them with you because you have to be prepared for the process you just hand them the documents and they will send you where you need to go while they vet the documents you know check to see if everything is okay if you have all the documents that you need and once you're good to go they will process the work permit you get inside pay the fees and you are now a worker in canada so this will 
override your visitor status as I previously explained. So you'll now be a worker in Canada free to work as well as benefit from the healthcare system, benefit from you know everything such as um, you'll be able to pay your taxes, get your tax return, all of those stuff you can now do as a worker in Canada. So guys, if you have any questions on the process or anything surrounding it, if I also miss anything and you're watching this, watching this video, you can leave it in the comment section so that other people can benefit from the information. And if you have questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thank you for always, you know, riding with your girl. Don't forget to like this video, drop your comment, subscribe to the channel if you are new and please turn your post notification bell on so that you do not miss important videos like this one. Until next time, bye.